Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Do you remember last episode where I fucking just complete and utter ridiculousness? Actually the last two episodes. Wow, did I really just fuck up those episodes? I still am really mad at myself for the way those episodes went, but you know what? So be it, we get over it and we move on and we're gonna do another side quest today. This one shouldn't take anywhere near as long and it's even easier than that one was. And that one wasn't difficult, although it should have been. I shouldn't have killed Ultima Weapon so easily. That should not have happened that way. Anyways, I should probably show you the side quest we're working on first before I start working on it. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna show you one of the occult fan magazines that we have to remind you of something that we've read about before. Now, is it the first one? No. Second one? There it is. Unidentified flying object. On the left is a photo of the Titan Star. Take a look at the... Some say SR secret weapon, but residents say... Actually, I don't think this is it. I think it might be the third one. No, that's the ring. Then, it mu then it's gotta be the last one. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, the devil on the left was actually Doom Train that we got, but an alien on the right. Um, it's a flying object. It's attacking people. And they were owning stat full recovery medicine. Status full recovery medicine is an elixir. So you go ahead and I'll give you a mental note this now. You need five elixirs to finish the side quest. But it doesn't mean you can't start it. You can always go get some elixirs. Um, actually, the, sh the S-Star shop with all the exclamar exclamation points, uh, that place actually sells elixirs. They're expensive, but you can buy some. Anyways, here's Timber. And we're actually going to the beach right over here, I believe. Now, to do the side quest as quickly as I'm about to do it, you want to make sure that you have junctioned your Encounter None ability, which I'm pretty sure I still have on from last episode. Good, good. So, yeah, just walk around over here, and even though you have Encounter None on, you will run into a random battle. And because you have Encounter None on, it is the only battle it can possibly be. Which is... Which is... Nothing? Nope, it's a UFO, and it's stealing an Easter Island statue. That is hilarious. Yeah, the, the thing that it's stealing is always kind of like an Easter egg type thing, which is pretty funny. But, yes, you have to... The side quest has to do with seeing the UFO in all of the possible places to see it. So we have now seen that UFO sighting. Now, I'm not sure if it matters if you see these in order, but you have to see all of these places, even if you aren't seeing them in order. Um... I'm going to do these all in real time. I'm not going to cut it all. We're going to do this episode in real time just to see how long it actually takes me. Just to show you that it really doesn't take that long, especially if you have Encounter None on. It speeds things up quite considerably. Alright, so our next destination is the Centra Desert, which is somewhere around here. Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. Is it in the middle of the desert? I think so. Well, we'll just land here and find out. Is this the Kashkabal Desert? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Oh, pff. one step later, boom, we're in there. And so this will be our second UFO sighting. It's not a spoiler anymore now that we've seen one. We know what we're looking for. Let's see what he's stealing today. He's stealing the pyramids. Oh, he's just stealing the seven wonders of the world. That's all. Next is going to be the Great Wall of China, right? No? Statue of Liberty? No? Empire State Building? Taj Mahal? Fucking... I... I don't even think those are all seven wonders. I know, I mean, those aren't even, not all of those are wonders. I'm pretty sure Great Wall of China is. But the pyramids, I don't know, is Easter Island one of the wonders of the world? I'm not even sure. Anyway, where's the third place? The third place, oh god, we gotta go back over there. Damn it. Why didn't I write these in order? I, maybe you do have to see these in order. Hmm. Why would I write them in this weird order if they didn't have to see them in order? I don't know, I wrote this guide so long ago now, I don't remember why I wrote it in the way I did. Either way, we're heading toward Wind Hill this time. Do we just have to go right next to Wind Hill? So, yeah, we just gotta go next to Wind Hill, which is right, not over here. Did I pass it? I passed it, didn't I? It's on the southern part of the continent, I know that. Wait, what the fuck? Um. What, what, um. Wind Hill? Map! I'm lost! <laughs> See? The beautiful thing about the map is you can auto scroll. Okay, cool. It was right there, I was just flying right over it. I was too high up on the fucking screen. I couldn't even see where the hell I was. So anyway, we should be able to see it around here somewhere. We just walk around Wind Hill for a bit. Hopefully we'll run into the battle. No? Does it have to be like further away? Is this considered around Wind Hill? Wind Hill Bluffs? No, this is the right place. We're in the right location. There it goes. Sometimes battles just don't want to pop up. Even when they're fucking no other option but this battle to pop up. 
Alright, so anyway, that'll be another one. And he's stealing the cows! Not the cows! The cows aren't a wonder. Well, I guess cows are kind of wondrous. But they're not one of the seven wonders, I'll tell you that much. Although, I just made a connection. Cows make milk. Milk, boobies. Boobies are definitely one of the wonders of the world. I get it. Metaphorical. I got that. See? You see how I made that connection? Beautiful. Beautifully done. Okay. Next place. Uh, we're going... Hold on. Let's just use this. This makes this thing so much easier. I don't even have to press buttons. Tetrabia! We're going to go buy Trabia, but at least this will take me in the right direction. I don't have to fucking spin myself around on the map. So much easier. It makes me like, I can take a break, go to take a shit real quick, and come back, and I'll be where I need to be when I get back. It's pretty nice. Not that it takes that long, but, you know, maybe if I take a power shit, it goes really fast. I take a quick shit. Anyway, so we're going to Trabia, and we're actually going to go a little bit east of here. The name of the island we need to find is the Heath Peninsula? Yeah. The Heath Peninsula. Uh, this actually might be this little stretch of land, or maybe, maybe this island? Yeah, see, some of these UFO spots are, like, impossible to accidentally go to unless you're just, like, wandering around on random islands to see if what you can fight, which, actually, I used to do that a lot when I first played RPGs. Go everywhere in the world to see what kind of random battles you can run into. You might run into something that gives you something rare. I used to do that a lot in video games. I don't do it so much anymore, mostly because I know most of the time they're going to be enemies that are too hard or they're not going to be rare enemies there. By the way, he was stealing, like, a fucking crop circle or something. That was weird. Um, but anyway, as, as you could probably notice, a couple of those of these places that we've run into the UFO, they are actually possible to actually run into accidentally. This one, not going to run into that one accidentally. Actually, you might be able to get to get it to show up here on the peninsula as well, the actual peninsula. Yeah, probably. It just, I have it marked as the island. It's easier if it's the island, then you know what the hell you're doing. All right, so our last and certainly not least place to go. Do I have it? Is it marked on the map? I know where it is, kind of. I'm just seeing if it's marked on the map anywhere. The other way, otherwise, I'm not sure if I remember where it is. I, how do I get there again? Fisherman's Horizon. I'm trying to remember how you get there. I'm trying to remember which continent it's a part of. It's not part of this. Oh, it is. It's right here. Stupid. Okay. So it's literally right here. I'm stupid. It's right by the, the Sacred Chocobo Forest. I believe if you just land your boat your boat land your ship right up here on the cliffs we should pff, took us one fucking step never mind i was gonna show where we are anyway there it is the battle against the ufo and this time we're actually gonna fight the ufo now don't steal from it which i accidentally have steel on them in that case i'll just draw if okay no i won't no i won't oh well it'll be defeated soon you just have to attack it a few times battle shouldn't last long i think if you don't steal you get the item the good item I don't know, maybe if you steal from it you get something too, I'm not sure. Either way, just beat the crap out of it, it'll blow up. There it goes, flying away. See you later UFO. That UFO won't be terrorizing anybody anymore. I feel a little bad though. It wasn't like it was a big alien, it was just a little small alien ship that sat on the ground. Maybe the alien inside was cool, I don't know. Anyway, we oh we get an Aegis armlet that gives me the evade junction thing. Oh, man, this side quest yields very good results. For some reason, I didn't realize this side quest gave you something so good. I mean, oh, I should have mentioned, with the end of this side quest will give me a card. That's really the real the item that we're really after here. But we got an Aegis armlet, which gives us the Evade Junction ability? I don't remember that. For some reason, I don't feel like I, I get that. I, maybe, I actually, maybe I usually steal from him and fuck that up. I don't know, but that's awesome. I didn't realize you get that from this guy. That's awesome. We're definitely going to be using that so we can have evade junction on everyone. Anyway, so that does not end the side quest. No, it does not. You have found all the UFO sightings, yes. But there is one last thing you must do. And it involves going back to Balam Garden. Well, I shouldn't say Balam Garden. But the place where Balam Garden used to be. Do you remember? Is it nostalgic? Not really. But anyway. Keep Encounter None on. You still, It'll still work. And whoa. Okay, we don't even actually have to go in there. It'll just start fighting it. We'll fight it right outside. There it is. That's the alien that was flying the ship. That's it. And he wants an elixir. And I, like an idiot, have not brought 
item ability. Now, can we run into him again, or did I fuck this up and I have to redo this whole thing again? I'm gonna see if I can run into him again real fast, because I, sh I fucked up by not putting the item ability on. Let's see if I can run into him again. If I can't, I'll reload my save and just do this all over again. It doesn't take that long. Can we run into him again? Um, shit. We might not be able to. I might have fucked this up. Well, in that case, I'll redo it, but I hope not. I'm, I'm gonna make sure everybody has an item. I'm gonna go faster. I'm gonna walk around here for just a few more, maybe like 10 more, 15 more seconds. 10, ah. I may have effed this up, which I'm a little disappointed that I did. I think you might be able to only, might be able to only run into him one time. Uh, I think that might be the case. I may have effed this up. Well then, almost had it perfect, almost until I effed it up. Well then, I guess we'll be reloading my save. I will be right back, I guess. Damn it. It's the motherfucking rematch. All right, so don't fuck up the first time, otherwise you'll have to redo it. So it's a good thing I saved it before I started this episode. Anyways, you got to give them you got to give them five elixirs, which I have exactly five. This is why I said you need five elixirs cuz he wants he'll just keep asking for another one. He doesn't say he wants five. He just keeps saying he wants one. So therefore, keep giving him one until he fucking says it's enough. Hopefully he wants exactly five cuz if he wants more I'm gonna be a little annoyed. I'm pretty sure it's five. If it's less, even better. But I'm pretty sure it's five. And you know what's stupid of me? I, in my notes, right before I go to do this battle, it says, make sure you have elixirs and enough and freaking item junction to your guys so you can actually do this. But my dumbass, I should have put it at the beginning of the quest because I. I don't know, for some reason it didn't register in my mind that this was going to go so fast. Which is also awesome because I think we're going to have enough time in this episode to do the other side quest as well. I was thinking we were going to have two more episodes of side quests here, but I think we're going to be able to do them both in this episode. Anyways, he gets all excited. And of all the enemies in the game, we don't have his card. Now we do. His name is Pew Pew or Poo Poo or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I usually call him Pew Pew. Pew Pew. Pew Pew. Anyway, so now... That fills in the one card slot that we were missing on page five. Pew pew card, nice. What can his what can his card mod for? I wonder. I don't remember. I'm sure it's something. Oh, a hungry cook pot. I don't even know what the fuck that is. That actually, mm, actually, I'm not sure what that is. I was gonna guess. My my only guess I really have is that it's maybe one of Quistus's limit breaks. Maybe. That's my guess. All right, so we got one more side quest we can do now. And we could have started this quest so long ago, but I decided it's not really worth it unless you're going to do it all at once because it's so annoying. And the final treasure is worth it, but goddamn, is it a lot of the little things that you got to do. So anyway, you, you want to keep your encounter uh, none on. I'm going to save it real fast because that way I don't have to redo that pew pew crap that we just did ever in my life. Well, I, did, I mean, I still have my old save, so it's okay. Anyway, you want to go here to the middle of the lake. There must be a lake. Try hum. Or this must be Obel Lake. Obel Lake is where you want to be. Try humming. A black shadow rose to the surface. Try humming again. Hello, human. What a lovely tune. There's something large there. All right. So actually, what you want to do is keep doing that and keep talking to the shadow until he tells you something about a monkey. Hello. Can you do me a favor? And what's that? It's my friend, Mr. Monkey. Can you find him for me, please? Okay. So yeah, you gotta go find his goddamn monkey. Now, his monkey is in the forest of Dolette. How you would know that? You're just going to have to randomly accidentally go there one time. It's kind of annoying, I know. This is the most tedious of side quests in the game. Uh, the forest of Dolette is over here, I guess. So, I'm hoping this is something we can do with... Do we have to press a button? There it is. There's Mr. Monkey. Yeah, um, when you find Mr. Monkey, what do you do to him? Do you sing to him or do you throw a rock at him? Uh, find Mr. Monkey, throw a rock, and sing. So do both. Throw a rock, you suck. The monkey disappeared into the forest. There's a monkey, sing to him. You suck. The monkey disappeared into the forest. Okay, I think if we keep doing this... Do we keep doing this, or... Let's see if we keep... Let's see if we have to keep doing this. Let's see if we can find him one more time, maybe. Throw a rock at him. The monkey disappeared into the forest. All right, one more time, we'll sing to him. All right, so he's just going to keep, keep saying we suck. All right, so that's fine. We found him. That's all we really needed to do. I don't think I needed to waste my time doing all that more than once. I just wanted to see if that did anything. 
there was something that was supposed to come from that. Just making sure my notes are correct, basically. So you gotta come back over to the lake now that you found his friend. Or its friend. I shouldn't call it a him. It's a fucking shadow. You don't even see the shadow. I thought you could see it. Maybe I'm just at the wrong angle to see it. Let's see if we can see it. Nope. Can't see the shadow. Anyway, we told more monkey is. Thank you! Uh, is that, that all you gotta say? Oh yeah, you'll find something on an island east of Timber, too. So, island east of Timber, I believe that is our next destination. Um. Oh, wait. Keep talking to him for a minute. Uh, try humming. Hey, Black Shadow, hello. Oh yeah, do you know that? Take some time off at Eldbeak Peninsula. Yeah, that's right. Keep talking to him until he doesn't give you any more clues. Take a break at the railroad bridge. I wonder what it means. Oh yeah, do you know what? Take some time at Eldbeak Peninsula. It's a wonderful place. Oh yeah. At the beach in Belam, something special wish washes ashore sometimes. See? Keep talking to him until you don't know anything else new. East of Timber. East of Timber. Let me see if there's anything else. Beach in Belam. I think there's only four of them. Wait, there's also something on top of a mountain with a lake and a cavern. That one's new. What a beautiful day. Oh yeah. So, is that all the new ones? There's three different ones. Plus the, the the railroad one was four, and I think that's it. All right. So then we walk away for a second, and I think if we go back one more time, we should throw a rock until it skips. How many times? Hold on. We're supposed to throw a rock until it skips many, many times. Three times. Twice. Once. Five. Skip twice. Four. The rock sank. That's not good. Skip five. Four. Three. Two. Three. One. 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 Twi Come on, dude. Really? I'm, at least I'm showing this in real time so you know how ridiculous this is. Seriously, how, how many tries does this take? It's supposed to say skipped many times, isn't it? Five is not many. I'm just gonna keep mashing it until fucking something happens. I'll do this until the fucking cows come home. Well, the cows are never coming home. They got abducted by aliens, remember? Damn it. Come on, man. Many, many times. How many times is many, many times? Do I have to do this, like, for an hour and a half or something? Oh, my God. Should I... F How long does this take? Yeah, I told you this was tedious. I know this happens. You have to do this until something happens. It's supposed to say many, many times. Five times is not it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. I'm gonna cry. There it is. The rocks get many, many times. Okay. Whew. It's about to have a fucking aneurysm. Alright, so now that we have all the clues and we've skipped our rock many, many times. No, still not sure why you gotta do the bitty, 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 many, many times things. Anyways, back to the monkey. Yep, back to the motherfucking monkey. For some reason, I thought we were gonna go do clues. But actually, the monkey's gonna give us more clues. We gotta go talk to him a few times, though. And to talk to him, we gotta throw rocks at him, I think, just like we were throwing rocks right there. Yep, gotta talk to Mr. Monkey for a few minutes here and throw rocks at his bitch ass, too. Bitch! Ah, darn it, you're just a big loser. I'm able to skip the rock as many times as I want. So there, haha, -ha, loser, dork, idiots. Your mom wears combat boots. The monkey told you off and disappeared into the bitch. Okay, so that's why you gotta skip the rock many times. Otherwise, you can't brag about it. I get it. Bitch. Darn it, you're gonna pay for that. The monkey threw a rock at you and ran. Upon inspecting the rock, it looks man-made and has some carving on it. You are H-A-E-O. Hmm. All right, there's our there's our clue. Is this part of something? It is. So now we're done with Mr. Monkey for now. Back to the ship. Okay, now let's get uh, some headway on its motherfucking quest. All right, so first things first. We're going back to the beach that we found the UFO on right next to Timber. Yeah, they did say the beach is a Timber. He did say the beach of Timber, so it only makes sense that we're going right back. So this is the beach of Timber right here. Now, the way this works is you got to walk around on the beach and just mash the fucking oak, uh, whatever your confirm button is. In my case, it's a circle. So just walking along the beach, pressing the circle button. This is the funnest times you'll ever have in your life. Why you would ever do this, unless you understand this quest, I'll never know. Seriously, 
Just, I, I'm pretty sure this is how you do this. You just gotta press. This is Mandy Beach, right? Let me double check. Yeah, okay. We're on the right beach. Mandy Beach is where we need to be. The beaches of Timber. Just mash the fucking confirm button until you find it. I'm pretty sure it's random. And if it's not, then whatever. Oh, wait. Island north of Timber. Hold on. Hold on. I know that's Mandy Beach, but, um. Island north of Timber? Oops. Hold on. My I the what I wrote in my notes is not what I'm doing right now. Go to Mandy Beach, island north of Timber, and search for the rock. Yeah, the island north of Timber? Maybe there's a maybe this island? Let's check this island. This might actually this actually looks right. This is this is like memories, I'm like I'm reminded of something. This is Holy Glory Cape, but Wait, why why did I write Mandy Beach if this is the island it's talking about? Um, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll walk around this beach for a minute and press the button for a few minutes here. See if anything shows up. There's also a beach over there. I might have to go over there. Damn it, dude. I wanted to do this in real time, but I might have to just wait till I find the things. A lot of the things in this quest, like I said, are tedious and they take time. Just because you have to mash the damn button until you find it. But I don't remember any of it taking this long. Maybe I feel like I'm looking in the wrong places. That's why. Let's just check this one. Is this Mandy Beach? No, this is still Holy Glory Cape. This is the Glory Hole Cape. Um, okay. I might just have to meet you when I find it because my notes say Mandy Beach, but then they also say North Island of Timber. So I'm not sure what that means, but I will find this motherfucking rock and I will meet you when it says I found it. You understand what I need to do now, but I just got to fucking find the right spot. There it is. Okay, island north of Timber. I get it now. Found a recent rock by your foot. It looks man-made and has some carving on it. R-E-A-I-D-R. All right. It seems like the same rock I picked up before, except for this one has a clue. Okay, so, okay, I was looking in the wrong spot. Mandy Beach Island. Okay, because see, when you're on the island, it actually is called Mandy Beach. Now it makes sense. And this literally is, like, right north of the fucking, right north of it. I didn't realize how close to north that was, but it's, like, right there. All right, so we found the first or second rock now because we got one from the monkey. So now we got to go to Balan Beach, which we already know the clues of where we need to look pretty much. Balan Beach, they basically said Balan Beach. Should be no fucking, there should be no surprise on that one. I think we're literally just going to start here. In fact, I think this is all there is on the beach right here. So let's just search it out. Search it out. Searching for rock. Oh, we found it. That was fast. It's just a rock. Oh, no. We got to find it. We got to find the correct rock. Oh, God. I forgot about the fact that you'll find the rocks that suck. Nope. Just a rock. Just a rock. Just a rock. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. S-T-S-L-R-M. Now, I don't remember if you actually have to solve anything at the end of this or it just kind of deciphers itself, but you do have to find all the clues to be able to do this. Anyway, now we're going back to this place. Yay. Going back to Galbadia. Now, this will be the one where they're talking about a canyon and a river, or a mountain and a river, or whatever. Pretty sure that's this place. Now, that involves going to Galbadia Garden. Wait, hold on. Let me look what it says on my notes. Canyon on Galbadia. Look for a river. Land on top of the canyon. So, there's the river. Land on top of the canyon. Yeah, this, uh, this is a canyon, I guess. We follow oh, the river. Oh, okay, right here, maybe. Right here. Yeah, this is gonna be a little. Maybe not this one. Maybe this one. Where like where it ends. I guess I'll have to just look around for a minute and find it. But it's up here on one of these fucking areas. Just mash circle till we start finding rocks. Oh, I found a draw point. What the fuck? Hold on. That's rare. Yeah, there there are draw points on the world map, by the way. They're just rare as hell to find. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get everybody with draw again. I don't need the item ability on everyone anymore. So let's just... Yeah, oh, oh wow, Ultima? Really? That's awesome. I didn't know that was even up here. Holy shit. Ah, secret draw points are awesome. Alright, I don't think I'm in the right spot. I might just have to, like I said, I'll meet you when I find it, I guess. There it is. Wait, bird is warming an egg? What? 
What? What the hell did I just find? This can't be it, can it? Holy shit, is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, this is what I'm looking for, holy crap. I didn't realize, I didn't look at my notes, but that's what my notes say, you gotta fight two birds. Holy shit, that is amazing. That's hilarious and amazing at the same time. Well, whatever, two Thrust Davises are now dead. Suck it. I should have known it would have been at the head of the waterfall. Why did I, why am I not looking at my notes all the way through? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <sighs> anyway, all right. Got some windmills for beating one and stole some from the other one, which was nice. Anyway, we got the next clue, EAS, NPD. All right, put them all together and you get, I don't know. Yeah, we found all the clues for the first set of this. And yes, I said first set. Still gotta find more. He did say more clues than that, by the way, if you remember. We didn't actually go through all the places he said to go. But we did find all the clues for now. So let's head back to the shadow. Luckily, these are all in the same kind of general area, so we don't have to go far and wide for these. At least not yet. Anyway, let's talk to this motherfucker again. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. This must be all the rocks. Yeah, that's all of them. I wonder what it means. Oh, yeah? Do you know what? Take a break at the railroad bridge. I wonder what it all means. Is that all we gotta do? Seriously? 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 Ser mm. Oh. Sorry, there's a clue in here if you look at this. More dread plains has treasure. Are you reading this? Are you, are you reading this? Mordred Plains has treasure. Yep. It's there. I wonder what it means. I wonder what it means. Oh, I don't know. Let's go to the Mordred Plains and find the fuck out. So where's the Mordred Plains? Well, the Mordred Plains are actually the fucking plains of Esthar. So let's go to Esthar and check out the Mordred Plains. Mordred Plains is a huge place, which is the most annoying thing, but it's okay. It's the area just north of here. I don't... Is it literally the area north of here, or should we be, like, in the... Like, right next to it? No, it says Esthar City, so... It must literally be this area right up here. This area right here? Oh, wow. Many multi-level blocks all over the place. Blue Face Rock Whispers. I don't know where the treasure is. Yes, so this area is going to be really annoying. What are you looking for? You're looking for a rock that says treasure's not here. But at least these things will tell you where to go. You're going east, so we're going east. Black face rock, so you certainly treasure's probably in the direction of the North Star. Red face, the treasure's to the north. The red ones lie. The red ones lie. The red ones lie. I don't remember where you learned that, but the red ones lie. Blueface, some of us just talk nonsense. In fact, I think you learned it from the other one. The treasure's to the south. Did we pass it? The red, for, the red treasure's to the south, so that means go north. I don't know where the treasure is. You lie. Some of us just say the opposite of what I mean, not you. I think maybe the blue one does. It's north. I think we're close already. I think we're like right on top of this damn thing. Some of us don't tell us the truth. I'm pretty sure it's the red one that doesn't tell the truth. Red one, the treasure's to the south, so go north. White face says it's north. Some of us just talk nonsense. White face says west, so it's west a little bit. All right. Um, I went too far east then. We must be really close to it. Yeah, notice how the map's kind of gritty if you look at the ground. North. West. To the east, so it means more west. The red ones are liars, remember this. Treasure's probably... Yeah, I don't care. Treasure's to the east, so keep going west. Treasure's to the east, so keep going west. Some of us just talk nonsense. Yeah, I know. Nonsense, yeah. Red face. To the west. So we're going west, so we now we went too far east. To the north. To the north. We must be close. Black face. What the fuck? White face east. Alright, so we're, we're, this is north. We gotta go east a little bit. Treasure to the east. We gotta be, like, right on the treasure. To the west. Um, south. Treasure's probably the direction of the north star. The red one says north. North. Black's probably in the... Uh, man, we gotta be, like, right near it. This is a very confusing thing. The treasure's not here. There it is. Yes! Found it. Three stars. Sweet. 
Now, are we done here? I believe so. All right, so we have one more clue I believe we need to find. Yes, another fucking clue. We're going to the Elbeek Peninsula, which is actually the tip of the island of Southwest Trabia. Tip of the island of Southwest... That must be over there. Okay. Let's do it! We're almost done here, guys. We are getting to the nitty-gritty of this quest. There's only one more thing we got to do for a clue, and then we can go get our final treasure, which, trust me, the treasure is what you want. The final treasure of this quest is the th reason why we're even doing this. It's the most worth it thing of this entire quest. So this is LB Peninsula. Uh, can we also get by our goddamn fucking ship, please? Thank you. This is LB Canadian. Yes. Okay, good. So let's uh, mash the circle button until we find something. The peak of it? There it is. Stone pillar. If you look closely, there's something written on it. Read that backwards. L or no, no, no. Wait, what? What am I looking for here? How does? Hmm. Treasure, treasure time at Mind Mind Isle, or something like that. It's something like that. That's what the clue is. And I don't think you can get the treasure unless you've seen that clue. But anyway, we're going to Mind Isle. That's where we're going. If you if you couldn't decipher that, that's where we're going. Now that's also something that's near Estar, southeast of Estar. So it's an island. So go ahead and head to the other side of Estar. I'm going to assume. Actually, it's probably this big island down here. Now that I'm looking at the map. Southeast of Estar probably means down here on this big fucking diamond-shaped island that we're heading towards. I'm imagining that's about right. Unless it's this spot right here. No, that's not an island. Anyway, try not to run into Lunatic Pandora on the way. Since that's where we're supposed to go. But that's not where we're wanting to go right now. Is this Mind Island? I hope so. Nope. Well, it could be. Nah, I would think it would be called it if it was this. If this was it, I feel like it would say it was it. All right, then it's got to be one of these little islands over here. It's got to be. It's the only other islands there are, at least by Estar, that are that are southeast of it. I did say southeast, right? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, this this seems more realistic. One of these ones. The archipelago. Hmm. It's got to say the name of the island on it. It can't just be like, oh yeah, archipelago, totally. No, we want to go to the Mind Island. Where's the Mind Island? No, this isn't it either. What the f... What, island, what islands are on the map? There's islands up here. But Estar is over here. There's no more islands here. Unless that's the island. Shit. I guess we could check this island real fast to make sure. I don't want to just go right by an island and be like, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it either. What the hell, man? It's got to be... It's not one of these ones up here, right? I didn't accidentally put south and I meant north. Wouldn't that be dumb of me? Damn it, we just got to find Mind Island and then we'll be done with this shit. No, that's the full cure of Marco Pelago. All right. Well, then, it's got to be... Damn. What the hell, man? Maybe that island down there was it, and I just fucked up by, th by just thinking that it was not it. There is one more, one more thing over here. There is one more island right here. This little one right here. What island is this? Oh, here it is. Okay, that's not southeast. That's just south. Whatever. We found it. What's this? Luck J scroll. Yes. And that's what we found for. And for beating and for finding it, we get the Obel Lake secret achievement, which means we have officially finished the Obel Lake side quest. Yay! We're done with all the side quests. I feel very excited right now. So anyways, last thing le but not least, I almost forgot to do this because we got the items in the last episode. We can now get everybody's final weapons. Erg highs, say hello to it, Zell. And for, I believe it is Selfie who's missing it, the strange vision, uh, there you go. Now everybody's loaded up with the best weapons in the game. I have all the cards except for those that I have to get from the queen of cards. We will get all of them. See, how many does she have? She has one, two, three, four, five. She only has five? Huh, I thought she had seven. Oh, well, five's better. That's, if she had seven, it'd be ridiculous. Um, yeah. It's going to be fun trying to beat her. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, 
I think what I'm finally going to do before I play her, which I can't play her yet. I have to be on disc 4. We're not quite to disc 4 yet. Um, I'm probably going to mod all these cards, or at least the ones I don't want to use against her to play. Like, I'm going to keep a good selection of ones to play against her, but I'll mod the rest just so they're not available. Because when we play her, I'm pretty sure she plays with the random rule, and that's going to be a bitch. Anyway, I'll talk more about her playing her later. I just wanted to get at this that we're done with all the side quests in the game. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, we're going to continue on with the story and head towards the end of the game, guys. Point of no return, though, so if you're playing along, make sure you've done everything you want to do before you do it. At least in terms of, like, side quests and shit, because you won't be able to do any of them after that. Um, you can still do, like, leveling and all that later if you don't want to level yet. But, oh, also, I'll probably go to the Cactuar Island and finish mastering all the GF stuff, since I haven't done that yet either. But that's neither here nor there. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.